Hello, my name is Robert Schleib. I'm the research director of the European Rolfing Association and also director of the Fascia Research Group at Ulm University. And I want to give some commentaries on Jaap van der Waal. And I decided to put this up on YouTube so we have it also on the record for humanity. Most of you know that Jaap van der Waal is one of the most gifted embryologists of our time. And this is how I have heard his name. Everybody who is into complementary uh, medicine here in Europe and also in North America, they know him. Uh, and he has been um, uh, giving workshops for the last 10 years. And I have signed up uh, one day and I have been uh, giving, um, how you say, the, the hand, uh, the handle of the doors to him, so to speak, when I had been teaching workshops, for example, at the Sphinx um, Institute in Basel, then the next week, and he would be coming. So I had heard great stories about what an inspiring teacher of embryology Jaap van der Waal is. And that's, I think, what most of you know about it, and I don't need to tell you more about it. But I think my job here, and I want to give that for the record, is to inform you about a side of this man that some of you don't know. And I was very surprised to find that out myself. In the field of fascia research of muscular connective tissues, uh, this is the connective tissues that the medical doctors have been literally throwing away for the last three or four decades. So in most of the dissection causes, uh, this is the only piece of the body that they are allowed to throw away when they are then going for the muscles. And a big revolution has been happening in the last five or six years uh, all over the world where medical researchers have been realizing that this uh, stuffing organ, the fatal tissues, are much more important, that they are not just some envelopes, but that they have major functions in force transmission, in regulating the stiffness in the body, and also as a sensory organ. And I'm involved in that field. And one of the most interesting subjects in that field, which is very dear to my heart, and I think to many people who are involved in manual therapy, is that fascia as a body-wide network can be seen as a sensory organ. Sensory organ, as a potential source of pain, muscular pain, that's one side of the coin, but also as a sensory organ for feeling your body from the inside. So for proprioception, also for interoception, how at home you feel in your body, feeling of tingling, warmth, etc. That they seem to be generated mostly from the stretch responsive fascial tissues rather than from the joint capsules deeper inside the body. So there, that has been a focus of my research there. And I noticed that there has been, and I think I noticed that six or seven years ago, or maybe five years ago, and I contacted then Jaap with a great surprise for myself because there, I, we realized that there has been a group uh, publishing on the innovation of fascia in the late 80s and early 19th of the last century, a group in Holland, and there was a name J. J. van der Waal, and also Halata, and another name were there. And I thought, well, these Dutch names, they all sound similar, but then I realized this could be the same guy who is a famous embryologist. And it was him. So I contacted him and said, you haven't told me about your secret past as a leading fascia researcher three decades ago. And I don't know how he responded to that. So I got his thesis. I got all the uh, original research papers that he published. And they are damn good papers, I have to tell you. I would be proud to publish anything from our own university today uh, that is so thoroughly and that and so profound as what Jaap van der Waal and his researchers have been publishing there. So basically, to make the story short, uh, he has invested, I think, 15 years at least to do detailed laboratory research on fascial properties. Now, at that time, they were published and nobody responded. And now a very nice thing happened. I discovered him, I contacted him, and I said, this is great stuff. But also Peter Hying, who was the host 
of the last, no, the second uh, of the second fascia research at the University of Amsterdam. He said, this is, is my former student and this is great stuff, so we need to republish that. So uh, this is a Congress book that we had after the Amsterdam Congress and we invited Jaap van der Waal and he was the main keynote speaker there and he made a beautiful speech. So here in this book you have a beautiful chapter written by him on fascia as an organ of proprioception. And also, this is, you have to get this, this just came out, and lots of thanks to you, Jaap. This is the new fascia Bible called Fascia, the Tensional Network of the Human Body. And there are about 70 authors, but one author I especially like, and that's Jaap van der Waal, because he gave a condensed chapter, Fascia as an Organ of Proprioception. So that's a take-home message, I think, for most of us. The groundbreaking research of Jaap van der Waal and his colleagues more than 30 years ago has shown what now in more recent years with more refined methods that were not available 30 years ago have, uh, have also evidence, they have given proof to that, that fascia is a very rich organ for feeling your body from the inside. So whether you know what your lumbar spine is doing, whether you feel connected to your body, uh, it depends a lot how alive these tiny stretch receptors in your fascial body are. And uh, this is something that Jaap has been doing 30 years ago. He, I think he has turned away from laboratory research. I have turned towards laboratory research, so we are both crossing. I come from an anthroposophical background. I have followed an Indian guru for seven years, trying to get enlightened. I didn't get enlightened. But now I find the background that Jaap has been doing for 30 years to do real laboratory research. I find that very fa fascinating. And this is where Jaap and me, we are crossing each other, but we are also shaking hands because I have great respect of the contributions that he has done. So let me give that uh, to you as an insight of this strange man. I, I wonder what else. Maybe he's a famous clown or story writer or, or whatever that, 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 that we don't know yet about. But the contribution that he has given to our field is enormous. And if there ever is going to be a hall of fame in fashion research, he has to be in the front line. So congratulations to you, Jaap. I think you're listening to that when you celebrate your 65th birthday. But I also want to give this to the record for the future Hall of Fame in Fashion Research. This is to you, Jaap van der Waal, for your contributions. Thank you very much.